Have you ever wondered what it would be like if all planets were tidally locked with the sun? Picture this. A universe where every celestial body shows only one side to its parent star, a world of eternal day on one half, and everlasting night on the other. This is the intriguing world of tidal locking. This phenomenon, tidal locking, is a dance of gravity between two celestial bodies, typically a planet and its star. The small body's rotation synchronizes with its orbit due to these gravitational forces. Our own moon is a prime example, eternally revealing the same face to Earth. If this were the case for all planets in relation to the Sun, the implications would be dramatic and far-reaching. The immediate effect is clear, each planet would be split into two vastly different hemispheres, one, perpetually bathed in sunlight, the other, cast into unending shadow. The boundary between these two halves, known as the Terminator, would be a region of stark temperature contrasts, with scorching heat transitioning into freezing cold within a few kilometers. On the sun-drenched half, the landscape would be a tableau of searing deserts and molten plains. Here, under the sun's relentless gaze, temperatures would skyrocket, creating mountains of glass and rock and vast expanses of liquid metal. The dark side, on the other hand, would be a world of ice and darkness, temperatures plunging to unimaginable lows. Mountains of frozen methane and ammonia would rise from the icy crust, and frigid winds would sweep across the barren landscape. Yet life may persist in the subterranean ocean's warmth sustained by geothermal vents. The Terminator would present a unique environment, a place of perpetual twilight where the heat of the day meets the chill of the night. Here, forests of towering ice spires might rise, their forms shaped by the constant interplay of light and shadow. In this hypothetical universe, the concepts of day and night would become obsolete. Instead, life would exist in an eternal twilight, with no dawn or dusk. Life forms would need to adapt to these harsh conditions, finding ways to harness the sun's energy while avoiding its lethal intensity. The sunlit wastes might be home to creatures of silicon and crystal, while those in the shadows evolve to thrive in the icy depths below. And so, we've journeyed through a universe of eternal sunrises, exploring the concept of tidal locking and its profound implications. We've seen how it would divide worlds into two distinct halves, with one side subjected to constant sunlight and the other to unending darkness. We've explored the potential for life in these extreme environments, imagining creatures that could thrive in such conditions. This thought-provoking journey reminds us of the limitless possibilities that exist within our vast and wondrous cosmos.